Okay, we have example number 6. So, for example number 6, given y is equal to the cube root of x to the 6 minus 3x to the 4th. Okay. So, first line, dy dx d dx of x to the 6 minus 3x to the 4th raised to 1 third. Okay. Okay. Note here that x cube root of x that is equivalent to x raised to one third. Okay. So we are going to apply the power formula here. We are going to you multiply one third. Then x to the six minus three x to the fourth. 1 third minus 1 this power formula then derivative we will have d dx of u not on u derivative x to the 6 minus 3x to the 4th without exponent okay so not here derivative without exponent so let's continue so we will have one third x to the six minus three x to the fourth one third minus one that is equal to negative two-thirds then derivative of so we will have d dx of x to the six minus three d dx of x to the four so therefore, you will have, so, you will have one third, one third x to the six minus three x to the fourth, negative two thirds. So, you will have 6x, 6 minus 1, derivative of x without exponent, minus 3, times 4, okay, times 4, 3 times 4, then you will have x 4 minus 1. Derivative d dx of x without exponent. Okay, so therefore you will have. Let's bring this down. So you will have 1 over, okay? So you will have 3. You will have x to the 6 minus 3x to the 4th. Positive 2 thirds. Because you bring it down, that would become positive. This one, this would become 6x to the... 5 is cancelled 
minus 12 x cube cancel so therefore so therefore you will have So, you will have 6x to the 5th minus 12x cubed. Common is 6x cubed. So, factor that out. 6x cubed. What remains here is only x squared minus 12 divided by 6. You will have 2 okay, over... Okay. 3x to the 6 minus 3x to the 4th, 2 thirds. So that is equivalent to, so what will happen? You will have 6 divided by 3, so that would become positive 2. So that's the reason you will have 2x cubed. Okay. 2x cubed x squared minus 2 over x to the 6 minus 3x to the 4th. Okay, it is 2 thirds. So that could be expressed as, expressed as, this is the index, cube, and this one, squared. So that is now your dy dx. So that is your answer. So we can have some notations. Mm. Note, note again. Note. If you will have, if you will have x to two thirds, okay, that could be expressed as cube root of x squared okay so for clarification and then also uh, one third minus one that is equivalent to lcd3 then you will have one three divided by one that is 3 times 1 that is minus 3 so you will have 1 minus 3 negative 2 thirds that's the reason that's the reason we have negative 2 thirds okay. that's it ok thank you so I hope uh, you understand this explanation. Thank you.